Sacrament for ordination to the ministry of Word and Sacrament, Agent William Stinson. Who has been prepared, examined, and approved for his ministry, and who has been called by the Senate to the ministry of the Federal Church of the Minnesota. I am the next speaker. All baptized Christians are called to share in Christ's ministry of love and service in the world to the glory of God and for the sake of the human family and the whole creation. According to apostolic usage, you are now to be entrusted with the office of word and sacrament in the one holy Catholic Church by the laying on of hands and by prayer. Hear the witness of the apostles. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Before Almighty God, to whom we must give account, and in the presence of this assembly, I ask, will you assume this office, believing that the church's call is God's call to the ministry of word and sacrament? I will, and I ask God to help me. The church in which you are to be ordained confesses that the Holy Scriptures are the word of God and are the norm of its faith and life. We accept, teach, and confess the Apostles, the Nicene, and the Athanasian Creeds. We also acknowledge the Lutheran Confessions as true witnesses and faithful expositions of the Holy Scriptures. Will you therefore preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and these creeds and confessions? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures? and faithful in your use of the means of grace, will you pray for God's people, nourish them with the word and sacraments, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform it. Amen. Please stand.